Leonard and Kalule. One title is just not enough for Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, he's stepping up. He's known for his dancing feet, but he's fighting Kalule, who's no easy opponent. How do you win? No, this, this guy's Kalule is 36 and 0. He's the defending champion. He's tough as nails, the naturally bigger man. But Sugar Ray Leonard was always destined for greatness from the gold medal, you know, going into his acid test at the time with Wilfred Benitez. You know, Duran, taking on Duran, losing Duran, avenging it in the uh, infamous no mass. You know, and now he's stepping up to become world champion in the second weight division. But like you say, Kalule, 36-0 defending champion, tough as nails. Tough as nails, let's see. There he is, the man with the Midas touch, Sugar Ray Leonard on his way into the ring to attempt to win the junior middleweight championship. Remember, a former welterweight champion Wilfredo Benitez has just won the junior middleweight champion WBC version when he knocked out Maurice Hope and he knocked Hope out. Now the question is, can Leonard gracefully move into the junior middleweights as Benitez did? Benitez actually gained more punching power. Will Leonard, Marvin pointed out and very astutely, Leonard weighed in at 153. So he obviously is not looking for speed. He is looking for power. Ray is coming around the bend right now. And he is approaching the corner. And Ali and Jenks and the rest of the entourage. Here is Sugar Ray Leonard. What is funny here to uh, Bill today is that you see Sugar Ray Leonard coming out first for the first time, I guess. I know, because the other guy's the champ. <laughs> and the other guy said, I'm not going into the ring first. I'm the champ. Let Leonard go in first. Well, I believe that this is Kalu's biggest payday, too, also today, Bill. I don't know exactly what he's making, but the rumor has it he's making about 150000 I heard a quarter of a million. But what's 100000 between you and me? <laughs> I'll tell you something else. Angelo Dundee has had two fighters in against Kaluli. Steve Gregory and David Love. Well, he knows him very well. Then Angelo is a very smart man. I believe that he moved in for the right thing. Here's how you. Kaluli yeah. has been the uh, forgotten man here in Houston. You can't blame him. Here's the champion coming uh, to uh, another country, and he is not only taking on the champion of another division, but he's taking on a media star. And uh, are you? really was uncomfortable here in the last couple of weeks overlooked by the press certainly overlooked by the fans but matter of fact the man hasn't gotten any exposure here even though he's the champion that's his record you see it 36 and 0 with 18 knockouts hasn't lost a fight and yet he is overshadowed by the brilliance of sugar ray leonard you fought a guy one night fought your draw his name was sugar ray seals <laughs> Sugar Ray Seals fought Ayub Kaluli, didn't he? That's now, right. what did Ayub Kaluli do? Well, he's been doing very well with the he middleweight. Beat Seals. That's right. Now, Mr. Hagler, you saw Seals. What kind of a fighter was he? Was he as good a fighter as Leonard? Oh, I tell you, Seals is a very gutsy type of fighter. That's what I give Seals, a very gutsy. But I don't Earlier think that today, he's any type of fighter like Sugar Ray Leonard. Earlier today, I uh, spoke with the uh, manager and he says this, Ayub is the champion, Leonard is the challenger, and a challenger he will remain after the fight. That's from the manager of Ayub Kaluli. Of course, his view is uh, full of prejudice. Now let's go to the ring announcer, Dick Eason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your attention to the ring, please. This is 15 rounds for the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing our judges for this event, Armandio Sindeo, Send and for, he's from Panama, from Puerto Rico, Wiso Fernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Palmer Park, Maryland, the very exciting and talented World Boxing Council welterweight champion of the world, vying for the junior middleweight championship of the world at 153 pounds. He's on my left from the blue corner. This is Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard. What an ovation. <laughs> Look at the satin trunks, the black satin trunks. On, on my sugar. right, in the red corner, 
Ladies and gentlemen from Uganda, now fighting out of Denmark. He's undefeated. He weighs in at 153 pounds. Let's welcome for the first time in this country the champion of the world, Ayub Kaluli. Kaluli. Kaluli's got a three-inch advantage in reach. Although he's about an inch shorter, and Your strangely referee enough, for this event, uh, and Leonard's a little bigger through the chest. Carlos Barraquilla. Carlos Barraquilla is the referee. He, he's a spitting image of Wilfredo Benitez. He's from Panama. He's an excellent referee. And he's the man, the third man in the ring tonight. One of the most exciting fighters in the world today, Sugar Ray Leonard, against... Ayub Kaluli, this is the one that was to have taken place in 1976, and here they come. Here they come. Yeah. Leonard going after him. Standing in there, Leonard is going after his body. Hey, Leonard's not doing that driving and jazzing. No, he's, he's looking to take to him out. He's here to fight today. You know, he, these people are out here today. He's here to fight. Oh, a good right hook by the man from Uganda and Denmark. Leonard trying to load up with everything. He looks very slow today, though, Kalu. I've never seen him fight today, but he looks very, very slow. He's pushing his jab. Marvin now. You notice Leonard is no longer coming in. Now he did then. He's obviously using the old technique, right hand lead, although a lot of people think a left hook is the best punch. Kaluli's a toughie. Well, he comes to fight, you can see that. Leonard's corner is screaming at him. Pop the jab, pop the jab. Right to the body. Could have hurt Kaluli. Kaluli looks a little slow to me. I don't know, Bill. He looks very slow. Whether he's trying to fill out this first round or what, I couldn't tell you right yet. But I know that he's pushing his jab. Marvin Sugar Ray Seal said Kaluli was a bulldog. He never quit. Keep coming at you. Keep coming at you. Well, he looks like a very game fighter. Hurt Ray with a left to the body. Fifty-five seconds left in the round. How fast for his hands, Marvin? Right now, I think. That's just the way has, uh, Leonard has to beat this guy. Right hand leads and speed. Ray is just trying to establish distance. Good left hook, but he didn't hurt Kaluli at all. Kaluli came back at him. Kaluli looks like he's waiting for him to come to him, and then that's when he wants to do his work. Marvin, believe it or not, Kaluli people think they can outbox Leonard. There was a Good nice left. right hand shot oh, yeah. there that caught Kaluli. Five, four, three, two. First round is over. What did Ray say to him? Well, Bill, I can tell you this. During, before the introduction, Leonard went over to Kaluli's corner to, in fact, wish him well as we look at Ray Jr. And Kaluli pushed Leonard away. He did not want to take his best wishes. And so we've got a grudge building up I didn't before realize the first that. round, and it continued after that first round. Leonard is fighting the southpaw the classic way. He's fighting outside of his right foot, and he obviously was faster to the punch in that first round. Well, I have, like I'm saying, Kaluti looks very slow to me. I think Leonard's going to lead with right hands all night long, left hooks, and that's the way how you fight a southpaw and try to back the southpaw up. Sal, I don't believe in the right-hand lead, and we're talking to one of the great lefties. <laughs> I tell you, the way you beat a lefty is with left hooks to the body, never mind the right-hand lead. You hook him with a left to the body, and sooner or later you'll catch him with a right. Round number two. 
Third man in the ring is Carlos Vero Cal from Panama. One thing that I like about Kaluti, he keeps his hands up very well. Marvin is Kaluli built like a middleweight. Uh, he, he looks like a junior middle, but uh, he could probably make a he can make a middleweight easily. He but has a frame. Leonard's eyes are always like Ali's, wide open. He's watching him. Every move he's making, he's watching him. He knows that he's fighting the orthodox fighter, and he's waiting for him to make a mistake. What Leonard has to watch out for is to make sure that he doesn't make a mistake and run into one of those surprising straight left hands. Kaluli hasn't established his own distance yet, but I tell you, if the fight goes a long way, Kaluli will get tougher and tougher. He's been around. Sugar, though, fighting him flat-footed. Kaluli looks like he waits for fighters to come at you, come at him first before he starts to fight. There you go, you look like Leonard's just starting to warm up right now, Bill. I just am wondering right now, frankly, I haven't said anything because there's nothing to say. Kaluli hasn't yet established any pattern to his fight. He looks like he's just trying to get Leonard set, understand what he can do. Leonard, meantime, is doing what Angelo said, left to right, left to right, and Kaluli trying to cut the ring down on him. Kaluti's got to throw more than one punch if he's going to beat Sugar Ray Leonard because he's not going to be there for more than one punch. You notice when Kaluli gets him on the ropes, he doesn't follow him in at, at all. One punch. You're right, no combination. I believe the strategy is to try to work on Ray's body in this fight. But he's getting hit with shots before he comes to make contact. Nineteen seconds left in the second round. Kaluli becoming a little more aggressive. Ray used the right hand to set up his left hook. Good right hand. Oh, he hurt him with the right hand. Leonard did. Round is over. Shook Kaluli again. What do you think, Sal? It looks like Sugar Ray Leonard is fighting at perhaps a quarter off his usual tempo. He is much slower because Kaluli is so slow in his tempo and rhythm. And, it, and Ray is having an easy time of it because Kaluli is letting Ray set up. And Ray's getting off first. This is Sal Marciano with uh, Bill Mazur and the middleweight champion of the world, Marvin Hagler, and we're watching some slow motion action from that second round. Ray again uses that right hand, Marvin. Right there, that's the one he hurt him with a little bit. It seemed like it was a half hook and a half uppercut, which he wanted to throw. But he got his body in into it. Let's bring him on. Come on, now Ray is still there, flat-footed. So let's see if that last punch that Ray caught him with had any effect on him. Kaluli looked at the referee for what reason, I don't know. Barakow's a heck of a ref. You never are aware that he's in the ring. Very good referee. Kaluli is not distinguishing himself here tonight. He's not showing us much at all. He did then. Three jabs and a left to the body. 15 round fight, Sal. Just round three. You never can tell. Good right hand by Ray. Little grab and hold with the left and hit him with the right. 
clearly wants to get in tight to make contact and then starts throwing punches. That seems like the way he wants to fight. You realize that Ray is fighting flat-footed and is still much the faster of the two. You're absolutely right there, but Ray is looking for shots. He's pinpointing shots. He's just not out there throwing regular punches the way that he, he usually does. He's looking for a shot. I think his prettiest punches have been the, the left hooks over the lazy right of uh, Kaluli. Well, Kaluli's keeping his hands up very high, though. The way he fights, apparently he feels he can take it to the body. Good right hand. Ray is really pinpointing his shot like a dartboard. The right hand again. I believe right about here, Ray feels it so that he can catch it with any combination that he wants to throw. And Marvin, he's strictly headhunting it, isn't he? Right, well, he just has to go with the speed, stay with the speed. Kalulia has set no pattern to the fight so far at all, punching. He just seems to be content to put pressure on Ray. Maybe he feels he's slowing down that way, and then he'll be able to bang him. But he's got Ray moving, moving and moving. And he's cutesy. He ducks punches. Well, but he's, he's waiting for But he's established no punching pattern at all. No, he's waiting for Ray to do the punching, get close to him, and then he starts the punching back. 15 seconds remain in round number three. Kaluli in the white trunks. Sugar Ray Leonard took a left to the body. Why throw a shot? You know that the guy is not going to be there. And that's just the way it seems to me Kaluti is thinking. I know that Ray can go 15. I saw him do it a year and five days ago in Montreal. But after three rounds, Mr. Hagler, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, what do you think? Well, I tell you, at this pace that it's going, both fighters can go all night. Is it too hot in here? Yes, it is getting kind of muggy here. The people are getting excited. They want to see either Kaluti knock Sugar Ray Leonard out or Leonard knock Kaluti out. So they're getting all hyped up. They're ready. Leonard established distance for punching. Is he where he wants to be, or does he want to come in a little closer to Kaluti? I don't think he wants to come in right now. He wants to hurt Kaluti first before he goes in for the attack. If Mr. Kaluli is playing a waiting game, he uh, may fall so far behind he has no shot. You're right. Right now on my score, the way I give it, I give it all three to three three nothing. Three. Round number four and Ray looking as if he wants to pick the pace up a little bit. He's got Kaluli backing up a little. Just waiting to see Kaluli establish, as I've said before, any kind of punching pattern. Ray is picking him with jab, hook, right hand counters. Kaluli is now starting to counter punch a little off of him. Maybe Kaluli has suddenly discovered this guy doesn't punch as hard as he thought he could. Well, he looks like he just wants to walk in and bang on him. He's looking just for the body shots on Ray. It don't look like any of the punches there are bothering Kaluti at all. He's got the same expression on his face from round one. There's a little bit of a movement by Kaluli. He seems to be picking up the pace himself. Incidentally, Marvin, I think you'll be a little surprised. Kaluli can go quicker. He really can. I've seen him do it. But he, Ray is just looking to load up on him with the right hand. I, I've been talking about the left hook and he hasn't done it. He hurt him with the right hand again. Well, you can see Leonard sliding in between those gloves of Kaluti with a straight right hand. Now we just try the right to the body and the left hook to the head on Kaluti. He's trying to put combinations together. That's what Ray's doing. Kaluli looked like a strong guy to you, Marvin. He looks like he's been in a lot of wars. Well, Kaluli is digging that shot to the body, but Ray has opened up on him. He has him hurt.
Kaluli fighting this back. Is, this is the way Kaluli wants to fight. Left hook by Leonard. By Leonard. He wants to wait close enough. If he can hit you, you can hit him. That means that he's close enough. Kaluli wound up. Kaluli looks like he's sucking him in. Is he Marvin? This is the way he looks like he wanted to fight him. Getting lit and punching him. Ray is going up and down on him. Oh, he hurt him with the right hand. Leonard hurt him with the right hand. Kaluli fighting he's back. Fighting though. back. He's just working the body shot. He's not looking at all in his head. See Ray start that business to fake him with the right hand. Round four is over. Ray is getting warmed to the pass. A standing ovation for Sugar Ray Leonard as he sits on his stool. Leonard hurt Kaluli with a left hook midway through that last round and then beat a rat-a-tat-tat -tat on Ayub Kaluli. But Mr. Kaluli took a lot of punishment and he wasn't staggered. As many blows as he took, he was not staggered. And he is uncut. That right hand, Marvin. You notice the difference though, Marvin? Leonard throws the right hand off his back foot. Tommy Hearns threw the right hand by stepping in with the left foot, and then he banged it with the right hand. Well, the best way he's supposed to do is to step in with your punch. I believe it's just the way how Kaluti wanted Leonard to fight him. To take Believe it, it or not. Believe it or not. Fifth round, and Leonard again pressing, walking in on him, and his corner yelling, Jenks Morton yelling, get him out of there, get him out of there. Ray coming under and under. Well, with that last changes of a punch of punches there, either fighter knows now what the other guy has, because they was trying to take each other out right there in that round. Kaluli throws the left to the body, Ray bangs him with a cross right. He's got a sneaky left hand, as Kaluti does. You think he's going to throw it to the body? You believe he's going to throw it to the body, and he hooks it to the head? He's, he's been around, Marvin. He's another guy who's paid due. A lot of amateur fights. Best fighter out of Uganda, and they got a champion, world champion out of there, too. Cornelius Bose Edwards. Not a bad fighter. Very gutsy guy he is. Good champion. Marvin, uh, Sugar Ray was brilliant through seven rounds against Duran before Duran quit on the 8th last November. As a boxer, tonight, he's slugging it with Ayub Kaluta. Is that dangerous? Is that dangerous for Ray? Yeah, he's kind of flat-footed in here. He's trying to pick his shot. But like I said again, I believe this is just the way Kaluti wants Ray to fight him so he don't have to go chase and look at Paul. Minute and a half to go on a round, and Angelo Dundee, you saw a moment ago, yelling at him. He wants him out of there. He wants Ray to keep pressuring him, pressing, and that's what Ray is doing now. Kaluli, though, battling back. But Ray, so quick with his hand. He also has to be careful that he don't make a mistake himself. Because this is just what Kaluli wants him to do, to bring the fight to him. Marvin, Ray is starting to use the left hook now, like he did then, to the body. Ray's in a fight. I believe that changed there. Leonard felt as though he had nothing. He figured with a good shot, maybe he could take this guy out of there this round. 50 seconds remain in the fifth round. Kaluli now starting to pick up his pace a little bit with his hand. What I noticed, Kaluti, when he throws his punches to the body, he looks like he's off balance all the time. Yeah, he does. All he has to do is just push him back and he might fall. He's got the upper body of a middleweight, but the pins are those of a lightweight. Kaluli. Ray, Ray starting to bang away with a right and a left. He's starting to use them sneaky uppercuts in the inside, Ray is. Oh, a right, but Kaluli came right back. Kaluli's got to put more snap on that jab if he wants to catch Lennon first. This round is over. Five rounds are gone. The best round of the fight, and the crowd loves it here in Houston. Look at them. They're cheering both fighters as Ayub Kaluli 
finally showed us something in this fight. However, Marvin, I still give all five rounds to Sugar Ray. You're right. I did to myself. Let's Here's some action from yeah. the previous round. What I'd like for you to look for in this fight is them sneaky uppercuts that Ray slide in between his gloves. Look at the monitor, Marvin. You notice the right hand keeps hurting, but then Kaluli came back with a right hook of his own twice. He wants to get as much of Leonard as he can. You know what they do in Kaluli's corner, by the way? They have a masseur. You ever use that in your fight? No, I have the corner? I have it. Sometimes with smack a wiki up. <laughs> Here you are. Leonard just using that left hand. That was a little look out. Marvin, do you, uh, do you sense that uh, Ray, Ray is dropping his hands as his fight gets older? This right. round, you wonder whether or not the weight is taking a, a little bit more effect on Ray. Like I told you, he's kind of going more with punching power. For round number six, Marvin and Sal and Ray still on the attack, still moving forward. And now Kaluli counterattacking just a little more. Kaluli, who physically reminds me a little bit of the great African fighter Dick Tiger but not the puncher the Tiger was. Very plotting, very mechanical fighter, no flash, and Ray with his hands poised, just looking for an opening to shoot home a right hand. If you notice in this round here, Ray is using his jab a lot more. Marvin, is Leonard a, as good a puncher as a junior middleweight as he is as a welterweight? Well, we got to finish this fight out to see. I've seen him fight against uh, uh, Mikado. And uh, I tell you, he went 10 rounds. Maybe this year might go 15 rounds. Well, as much as Leonard has hit uh, Kaluli, he hasn't staggered him. He's caught him with some beautiful shots today. I think Leonard's got to stay with the speed as a, as a Walter Wade. If he stays with that Walter Wade speed, he should have no problem with this guy. He looks very slow, and Leonard can just hit him and move. He's trying to back him up is what Lynn is trying to do. Keep him backing up. And keep a jab or something in his face. Funny, that's what you would figure Kaluli would be doing with Leonard. Moving him back. Trying to keep him off balance. Instead, it's Leonard who's the aggressor of the fight. And Kaluli, who has fought a rather dull and imaginative fight so far. But we're only in round number six. Like I was saying, Kaluli comes out with sneaky punches. It seems to me like you really never know what he's going to do. So far, all he's doing is covering up against Leonard. Now a little bit of a counterattack. And he keeps trying to use that left to the belly of Sugar Ray Leonard. He's counterpunching is what he's doing. He's waiting for Leonard to throw punches, and then he throws them right after Leonard. Marvin, I have the feeling that Leonard is not as intent now on taking the guy out as he was in the first couple of rounds. He's becoming... A little more set and not trying to be as wild. Just pick his shots and take Kaluli apart. Well, if he, he were going to hurt Kaluli, he'd better do it to the body. Well, he knows he's in there with a bigger guy now, not a Walter Wade. And uh, this guy here has got a couple pounds on him, too. Sometimes a pound makes a difference. Although they both weighed 153, I think you're right. It's possible Kaluli might have gone up to about 158 before the fight because the fighter will put on that much weight. We've got less than six seconds remaining in round number six, and Leonard, after a very fast start, has now started picking his shots a little more. Sal, why don't you and Marv talk a little more about it? Sugar Ray Leonard comes back to his stool, and he looks into the eyes of Angelo Dundee. Uh, I wonder if Angelo is really happy with the way Leonard fought that last round. What do you think, Marv? Well, Leonard's put the pressure on him. He can't do anything better. You know, this guy here has been around, like you said. Let's, let's see if we can hear anything in the corner. Pick up the speed. Let's go. Hear what Angelo said to him, Marvin? Pick up the speed. Let's use them legs. The first words out of Angelo's mouth was, the guy has no action. What he meant is the guy's just standing there. He's ready to be had. And you even noticed that Ray looked like he was daydreaming between the rounds. He may, he may be bored here. He lulled into a sense of lethargy. There's Kaluli. Fellas, don't knock our monitor over, please. Round number seven. 
If Kalulu is going to start defending his championship, he better do it now. Because the man from Washington has dominated him for six rounds. Clearly, Kalulu has landed some punches, but they haven't hurt. They haven't meant anything. Marvin said before he's trying to counterpunch against Ray, but he's got to give Ray a little more action or else he's just going to blow his title. Ray has not picked up the speed at all. Oh, a good right up and by Kaluli. Did he hurt Ray? Well, this is he'll probably wake Ray up right now. He realizes that this guy is trying to keep his title right now. He suddenly decided he'd better fight. He's starting to do a little bit now. Leonard shook his head. He said he's not hurt. A lot of fighters do that after their... But right now you see Leonard getting punched now, you know? Which is not like Leonard. Is he letting this guy punch himself out now to, Mike, for him to possum. start countering or what? Yeah. Maybe he was playing possum for six rounds. In Leonard's corner, Angelo is screaming, move, move. But Ray, for some reason, has decided he wants to match punches with this guy who hasn't been able to hurt him. But Kalulu is starting to find his target more now. Kalulu now, looks like he's waking up now. Yeah, but Ray is starting to use that jab pretty good. Now the jab is starting to take its toll. I believe this is what Ray has to do to win this fight, is to go back to his style of using that jab the way that he's been doing and set his opponent up for the other combination. Just like Hearns did in the previous fight against Baez. Exactly. Here with that left jab. This We're is not the number seven. A minute to go. Sal, Phil, and Marvin, this is not the Leonard we know. He's fighting flat-footed, and he's slugging with Kalulu. This is what he did against the first fight there with uh, Duran. Duran. This has been the best round for Kaluli and the only round that I've given him so far. Kaluli loves this because now Ray is coming to fight, and that's what he loves. He don't have to go hunt and chase around for Ray. Ray has got to use that jab in his leg movement. Most of those punches did not land. They look good to the crowd from afar, but they didn't land at all, and Kaluli is now pressuring Sugar Ray Leonard a little bit as we have less than 10 seconds to go in the seventh round of a scheduled 15-rounder for the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship. The end of round number seven. The it's best been... round for Ayub Kaluli, who tagged Sugar Ray Leonard especially hard through the first half of the round. Leonard did not follow the instructions of Angelo Dundee. He simply did not move enough. Here's some slow motion action from the previous rounds. An uppercut delivered by Kaluli here. Tags Leonard. That's coming up. There right it is, there. the right hand. And that's his best hand. That's his best power punch is the right hand. This is what I was saying, Bill, earlier. He throws these punches. You don't know where they're coming from. And Ray is so used to fighting right-handed fighters that I believe that he's got to go back to his old self and start jabbing and let this combination just come out naturally. While the plot thickens, Sugar Ray Leonard is certainly not behind, in our view, in the scoring, but he just lost a round. Have you ever seen a fight before where you never noticed the referee? Well, the tension is building up now. You can hear it. You can hear the people in the background. Vera called the referee has done a marvelous job. You don't even, well, you saw him there, but he's out of range. He lets the guys do their own fighting. Kaluli is the man in the white trunk. Sugar Ray Leonard, the man in the black satin trunk. We're at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. And we've had Tommy Hearns, the winner, sensationally. Jose Pepino Cuevas, the winner, sensationally. This fight is a very, very tough fight for Sugar Ray Leonard. You just see Sugar Ray Leonard lead with right hands, and I've seen Sugar Ray rock a lot of opponents with that right hand lead like that. But Kaluti just want to come back and fight. Kaluli trying to get Leonard to lead to him, and as Marvin said before, to counter off the lead so that when Leonard does no leading, Kaluli does nothing. 
Sometimes a fighter like Leonard, who's as smart as he is, can fake a lead and get Kalulu to lead and then counter over him. Well, you got to wonder, Ray's doing all the work here, you know, and you're hoping that he don't punch himself out for the later round. We're in round number eight. Scheduled for 15. Leonard, obviously, has decided by now that he can't quickly knock out Kaluli, so he's becoming more purposeful, more methodical, coming under, right hand to the body, and then coming off with a left hook right there. Kaluli is not going to win this fight, though, doing what he's doing now. He's not doing enough punches. There was a right hand that missed by Leonard right there. Right hand lead. That was a nice right hand to the body there. Underneath, underneath the uh, jab there of uh, Kaluli. Takes a good punch though, Marvin. He really does. Kaluli does. There's the left hook I've been telling you about to the side, to the kidney, and then to the liver. That will take a lot out of a guy. Leonard is trying everything that he can. Using the ribs, using the body, going back to the head, using the jab, using the straight right hand. He's trying everything he can for this guy. I'll tell you how good a punch Kaluli hit him. I got some of the sweat off Leonard's body in my <laughs> eye. <laughs> Kaluli, though, just is not throwing enough punches. I mean, this is the eighth round of a 15-round fight, and the man who owns the World Junior Middleweight Championship, WBA version, has just not punched enough. Oh, a good left hook by Leonard. That one might have shaken Kaluli a little. His corner thinks so. This round is just about over. This Five is what seconds. Kaluli wants to do. He wants to fight. He wants Ray to mix it with him. Eighth round is over. In the last minute of the eighth round, Marvin Hagler spotted a strong right hand by Leonard to the body of Kaluli. And Marvin, did you notice that Kaluli was closing with his elbows? Looks like he was, doesn't want any part of those body blows again. And, cert, and soon enough, Leonard scored with the left hook. Some guys can take the plenty of shots in the head. You've got to kill that body. Well, I if this, this was an Olympic time. fight, and these two did meet in 1976, well and it was only a three-round fight, of course, Leonard would have won the gold medal by now, as he, in fact, did. By the way, 13 Olympic gold medalists won professional titles. However, no one yet has ever won two titles. And Lennon's trying to become a first-timer at that. Marvin, as we look at Sugar Ray Leonard, getting ready for round number nine, Angelo Dumby just coming out. I was about to ask Angelo something, then it dawned on me, I better not right now. Here's Sugar Ray going to work. He picked up the pace again. Angelo must have told him, all right, to relax him. for a couple of rounds, go to work. I Dad, believe, Dad, Angelo told him, believe Angelo told him, use the body. I think it's fair to assume that Kaluli can't win a decision here on the home turf this late in the fight, having won maybe only one round. It's getting late for Kaluli. You know, Sal and Marvin, Kaluli's a typical European fighter. They fight like the Olympic fighters do. All they do is try to hit you with clean punches. They don't try to load up like American and Latin American fighters do. We must charge that man. He's going to take that with a shot. Kaluli is just trying Good to win shot. points. He got hurt with the right hand, man. Good shot right there. Leonard kills the attack right now. He's trying to get him out of there. Going close. Isn't it funny? The, the smaller man is pressing the bigger guy. Then it has to be careful though when he's going in there. He's leaving himself open sometimes. Might have hurt step. him with the left hook. Might have hurt Kaluli. Kaluli hit him with the left hand and did nothing. Kaluli loves to fight. Yes, he does. He's a gutsy guy too. But his defense is. Oh, he hurt Leonard. I think he hurt him with the left hand. Marvin, uh, Kaluli throws punches and then looks at his punch. He doesn't cover up. This is what I told you. Shots like this here, Leonard don't know where those shots are coming from. And he's getting tagged and he's wondering why. Kaluti started to look tiring right now. Punching better than he has before, though. Well, I think when Leonard hits him, he wakes him up. One thing he knows, Leonard is right there with him. He don't have to look for Leonard. Marvin Kaluli punches wide. 
does not come straight down the middle. Everything comes from the outside. Right now, Lin is trying to beat him to a punch. Let him throw and then beat him to the punch with it. About Let's 50 that. seconds remaining in round number nine. Leonard has dominated this fight all the way, but to Kaluli's credit, he has stayed in there with Ray. He just doesn't have the artillery. And as Kern said, if you can't hurt Leonard, you can't beat him. This is what Kaluli's trying to do right now. He's trying to hurt Leonard. Oh, that left. That's the punch you fight lefties with. That left hook to the side of the body. That'll get him to drop the right hand, and then you can come. That was a good shot right there, the right hook. Half up a cut, half hook. That shot there, I think, really hurt him right there. Ten seconds he's left. Hurt right he's here. got him down. Kaluli is down. First time he's ever been knocked down. It will not be a knockout. He's gotten up. He's gotten up. Hold it. The round is over. The round is over. He the stopped the fight. He still stopped the fight. The round is over. Leonard has won it. I'm going into the ring. Sad, you take it. Okay, Bill. Pandemonium breaking loose in the ring. A right hand by Leonard hurt Kaluli. He took another right and went down. We heard the bell, but the referee stopped the fight. Now they're trying to get the fighters away from Leonard, who of course is exultant in his victory. He is now a two-time champion. He has just taken away the junior middleweight title away from Ayub Kaluli with a ninth round knockout. Kaluli beat the count, but his hands were down, his eyes were glazed, and he could not continue. And the referee stopped the bout. Ayub Kaluli, in our view, really only won a round, the seventh. It was all Sugar Ray, who came in tonight intent on slugging it out with Kaluli, and in fact succeeded, and in the night, took him out. In the ring now, you see the family of Sugar Ray Leonard, his wife Juanita, his son Ray Jr. is there, and of course they're very happy. The first Olympic champion to win two professional championships. Here's the ring announcer. Five, two minutes, 59 seconds of the ninth round. The winner and the new WBA Junior.